The early stages in, in such a large project when you see a big grey wall in front of you is, is quite daunting in the beginning. It takes you back a step and you really think of how small you are compared to how big the project is. It's been quite a battle as not everyone paints a wall this size on their own. This is kind of like a, a perfect example of why I could say uh, portraiture, you know, immortalises people on walls. The old elderly gentleman behind me is a good friend of mine's grandfather who's passed away since then and it gives an opportunity for the families and, and, and other community members to still see these people that are, you know, once were a part of the community, once um, gave so much back. Now they're, you know, they might not be here but they, they can still be seen and still be present in a different way which is painted on a wall. The Warnery project has been my largest project to date, painting solo, and that's been quite the challenge for me. The hardest part was probably just uh, finding the subjects that really represented Warnery as an area itself. Uh, Margaret, um, just full of beans at the age of you know the late 80s. Uh, Nick, the same. I love the hat. What hat are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> the, the subjects I've chosen will, you know, the mirror will outlast them, um, which is a bit of a sad, you know, sad thing, but it's it's what I'm trying to do is trying to idolise them and, and trying to, you know, capture them as as for who they are and also what they did for this community. There comes a moment when you're painting that the, the whole thing just overwhelms you and, and you're not sure if it's going to work, if it's not, you know, you, you feel like you just want to paint over it, like then there you're just like, I'm going to roll over this, that's it, I don't want anyone to see it. It's, it's a bit daunting, but in the end, you just really got to push past that. Can you oh see it? Oh my God, it? yes. Oh. oh, bloody hell. I never wear as much lipstick as that. In the end, it, when you paint someone, they come and see it themselves, it, it really, uh, you know, gets the butterflies going. They, they become a kind of little local hero.